So the other day I was scrolling through Instagram as you do and I came across a print which looked fantastic. Uh, it was in this sort of smoky translucent red and I thought oh, I'd love to try that colour and see how it comes out. But I don't do a huge amount of resin printing. I don't really like resin printing very much. I find it a bit messy and I didn't really want to go out and spend 40, 50 quid plus on some resin that realistically I wasn't going to use very much of. So it got me thinking, I wonder if I could come up with a way of creating this same colour but for much, much less. I actually already have some clear resin which I got from Technology Outlet. I think it was less than £40 for a litre, so quite, quite good on the budget scale. Um, I also happen to have a lot of ink because I fill my own ink cartridges, the two I thought would go hand in hand. So I decided that I'd give it a try. Obviously most resins aren't actually water-based, so I was a little bit concerned that it might not actually mix very well. So my first test was to put a bit of clear resin in a pot and a bit of this water-based dye in a pot and just see how they mix together. Since it was possible to mix the two parts and the two parts remain together overnight with no separation, I decided it would be worth carrying on with the test and so proceeded to weigh out some clear resin and also the water-based dye and then mix together. One of the things I noticed when mixing was that the dye didn't dissolve into the resin as such, it more just broke apart and spread through the resin, eventually colouring it. I had to increase the speed of the drill to the maximum to get it to spread the mixture at a reasonable rate. My quick tip here would be to use a piece of filament as your drill bit if you don't have a mixing tool. Just bend the end and it works great. So the next step was put it in the Anycubic Photon Zero and see how it came out with a print. So as you've seen, I was able to get a piece to come out quite nicely. The colour consistency is good, spread across the pot perfectly, it's not affected the post curing process in any way and to be honest I'm really happy with it. I used this at just 2% addition rate, I'm very happy with how the test has gone. It's proved the point that you can very cheaply colour your own resin using just simple printer dye. I do think this process could be extended further. Using a white water-based resin and a range of ink dyes, you could, in theory, create any colour you wanted. Do full Pantone matching or rail colour matching and uh, create some really interesting shades that aren't available on the market at the moment. The great thing about it as well is you wouldn't have to buy a litre at a time. You could mix exactly what you need for the project. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you and you want me to try it out, then by all means, let me know, drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to give it a go. Um, if you did enjoy this video and like to see more of this investigatory type process, then uh, give it a like, subscribe and share to anyone you think might be interested. I'll be back soon with more random content. Cheers.